Yo, 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 what it do? It's your boy Jay Grill. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 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 what it do? It's your boy Jay Grill. Have no fear. All about my bucks like a deer with my brother. It's your boy Fat Man with the PH. And we are the Soul Bros. What you rock? So. And we got a very, very, very special guest today. The first female to be on first here. First lady we have here today. It's a very yeah, honor. You, you very honored Shake to have her on today. So I'm gonna let her introduce herself. Well, I ain't got no cool ass intro like everybody else. I'm Kamiski. Kamiski Art. Um, I design shoes and paint cool stuff. Hey, man. Go follow her. Man. First question I'm going to ask you, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us your upbringing. I am originally from Dallas, for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, technically, I'm from Texas, County, Texas. Oh, wow. Family Texarkana. lives in Dallas, and then I went to school in Houston, and we're just here. Everything I do is around centered around, like, black culture, hip-hop, pop, all the things, like, normal kids shit like watching videos all the time fashion always in sneakers just kind of like everything is sitting around low-key hip-hop culture and that's pretty much what my work is yeah, and that's culture. how we're literally just here for sure that's dope really want to know like what got you into shoes like was it family was it you just picking it up on your own like somebody brought you into like what like what really put you in that my daddy, um, my daddy is like real, real, real big on shoes. I remember like when we were in middle school, he used to have like his own like walk-in shoe closet. So it'd be like a wall full of horses, a wall full of Jordans. And then like, he loved like um, Air Maxes for sure. Air Maxes was his jam. So he definitely had the stock on Air Maxes. He was the first person I saw in like Kenneth Cole boots, uh, the Nike boots that came out when yes, they, they did their first yeah. collab. That's he was one, he's definitely, one of those people and so like my mama would like have me in like the girly fashion but i'd always have on like a new release shoe so like oh, yeah, my style cool. just kind of formed after that yeah, she was born into it i was born into it for sure first pair that i can like distinctively remember was some i was gonna ask that question that's crazy some 13s yeah there was some 13s it was the red and white 13s. Remember when it had the little air bubble and then like it turned like oh, yellow yeah, on the yeah, side yeah, after it was done. Yeah. And I got a picture of me in track and field day in the second grade. That bar was low as hell, but you can see my shoes and I appreciate it. Man, <laughs> that is. That's cool. I remember like being just like infatuated with like the bubble on the 13. I wanted to cut that whole open. <laughs> I swear, but you just couldn't. I used to want to know the little kid. <laughs> What's crazy is you just spoke, you know, spoke about retros, 13s. I saw on your Instagram that you like had this little thing about tubes mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't like jordan tubes like that like that's my pops used to call them like the space boot because they're so chunky if you if you ever put some jordan tubes on your feet they're real chunky i love jordan tubes so i want to know like what like how what got you to like jordan tubes out of all the jordans out there okay so jordan two one was one of the shoes when i found out that michael jordan was flat footed and then he make all of his shoes for flat footed people so like yeah, it was one of the shoes that just uh, make me feel like I ain't like out here being like a little free of Flintstone and my feet not wide, right? Yeah. Also, it had like, okay, so everybody remember like the Carmelo and well, LeBron, the, the, the LeBron kind of thing that they went through when they were both like coming up in the NBA. It was either like Team LeBron or Team Carmelo and remember when the, Le when the Carmelo twos, mm -hmm. but they, they were solid. They yes. were beautiful. Oh. Tough. They were beautiful shoes. Tough. Yeah, and yeah. and to be honest, the ones I hate to say it, the ones look played out for me just because they gave us colorways, but like it was it's it's a it's you can't go wrong with this shoe. You can't dress this shoe wrong. Like it don't matter what you got on, the one is just gonna stand solid by itself. You low key really gotta 
know what the hell you doing if you're gonna wear some tubes. Mm-hmm. Because mm. it's a, because it's an ugly it's an ugly it, it might be an ugly silhouette, but the way that jeans and everything is made, you really you gotta, gotta know what you're you doing. Have a uniform. Yep. You gotta I wear tubes to prom. That's crazy. I wear them. That's, the, that's the, that the, is the, the anniversary right. tubes. The white ones. I wore two pair of tubes on this show. Like, I love tubes. Love and first and foremost, you know how we got to do it. We got to see what we rocking today, what we got on our feet today. So I'm going to let my brother Fat Mal start today because yes, he's on, matching the turf in him. I, I, I wore these for our guests, you know, because she, you know, has some really cool Air Max Ones on. But these are the Golf Air Max Ones. A lot of people don't really know what these are. What you got on film? Um, I have on, I'll take mine off, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, I have on the QRA Q20s. Uh, CRA Q20s. I get that wrong all the time. For no reason, I made up the name. Uh, these were a July 2020 drop for me and Nike by you and CNK Hey Amen. And I guess, uh, what you got on me with? now? I got on, you no know, top three ones. Some of my favorite ones to ever come out. You already know how we do it. How we coming. Official, like a referee with a whistle. That was actually a really hard drop for them. It really was. Sure. I see you really love drawing, love art and everything. So how'd you really get into that? And how long have you been doing it? Uh, I'm gonna give you a typical artist answer and then a real <laughs> answer. So technically I have been drawing all my life. Okay. If that makes sense. Lisa Frank and all the fun stuff you used to like trace on your binders. Um, for me, it was at SFA my sophomore year. Shout out to when SFA. I when I got when I got tired of like going out and getting smacked every single weekend or every other day, mm-hmm. and I low key just wanted to like vibe and do something on my own. So I ended up like started making excuses to stay at home. Like y'all can come pregame over here. I'm gonna stay at home. I'm gonna drive. And then I just like act like I was too drunk and then everybody go out and then I'm still <laughs> at the house still drinking. Like that was a real thing. And I just knew after a while, like bro, I cannot keep this shit up. I need to find something else productive to do. And art was a really cool thing to kind of like get into, especially like I had this like random tablet that my dad gave me. And it was like one of the first like it was a computer that switched around and turned into a tablet. So that's how I got into digital art. Okay. I went in to Dallas and saw Jeremy Biggers and Blue the Great. And they were like doing this really cool like digital work. And I was like, bro, I got to learn how to do this shit. Yeah. And I figured it out. So. Yeah. That's cool. So like, you know, we was talking about, you know, how you fell in love with everything. Like how you got here at this point. But like, how did the Nike collab come about? What, like what, fit Air Max 1, because you got two. What, what? How did that come about? How did they get into that exact situation? A contest. I literally applied. They, my homegirl sent it to me. She was like, hey, this would be pretty cool. So shout out to Kristen. I applied and I was like, that would be pretty tight if I got it. And I'm teaching at the time. So I really, I got a job. I don't really care about it, mm-hmm. to be honest. And then I ended up getting it and it low key changed a lot of the things that I like. You know how like you, I don't know if anybody has had this like epiphany thing yet. So like, when you hit like 27, your mind go, oh, damn, I kind of need to be grown, bro. I really need a job. Like I really, like something I really changed. should get some health care and like take better care of myself right. and like I start reach. putting some shit in the future. So like I started, I started. Because my knee hurt. Like, my knee hurt and, and I'm like, tired and I really can't just like drink this shit off. Like I really need help to grow up and be a You really like, can't drink it off because that's what people will do. And so I, I told myself, I was like, bro, I'm going to go get a job. I'm going to go be a teacher. So when it came, I was like, okay, I initially took on the project to show my kids that like, bro, you don't have to be a square ass adult. Like you can be, you can be fun and still take care of business. Like that's, right. that's just a part of adulthood. You don't have to turn into this like being and get married and like the weird stuff that like people pressure you to do. And it yeah. ended up turning snowballing. It literally snowballed. Cause like right after I had the news about this, um, in December or in November, while we was planning the show for this drop, uh nike and finish line reached out to do a weekend so we did like a private gallery at finish line to like where i'm like painting like the first time i've ever done some shit like this it was like painting live digitally like they put up like a projector it was connected to my ipad we had drinks it was like a whole girls party in the middle of finish line in the middle of the mall like at night like it was it was like a crazy experience and then like the next day we held classes 
where people would just like sign up for creative classes. We painted uh, mats with Kiki mats. Uh, shout out to Ebony and we teamed with her girls. And it, we literally just do a mall, a party in a mall for like two days wow. and let people come and create and like enjoy like just being around sneakers and stuff like that. And then we did Sneaker Summit that following weekend. Mm. After that December, my homeboy reached out. He was like, hey, Jordan got this class. Do you want to teach it? Like this creative class in House of Hoops. So then we did House of Hoops in the Jordan brand and Russell Westbrook's. And like it, like it kept snowballing. Then after after that, it, I did like I started a sneaker club with my kids at school because they saw what I was doing. And they was like, Miss, I want to do it. And it was mostly my kids. It was like, where most of the the they not like the eighth grade students, you know. Mm -hmm. So like they was they was trying to get into something that like really piqued their interest. So we started a sneaker club. And then Reebok reached out and they was like, Hey, we got the we trying to do like a Black History Month. And I teach in Pasadena. So most of the kids are Hispanic and we got like a sprinkle of black kids. So I was like, at this point in time, bro, like we have to figure out like what black history means to all of us because it's really just not like a black person thing. So I was mm -hmm. I was kind of glad that they still chose us, although like we weren't like a predominantly black school. Yeah. So we did like the Reebok gallery with all the kids. They got the paint. It took them like two weeks to paint their shoes. They was in a commercial and shit. They had like a full gallery and like all their parents showed up. It was like the first time like some some kids that normally don't get that kind of praise, like their parents showed up and people crowned them and showing them love for like something that they created. That was like- That they really wanted to do. That they really wanted to do. And they, that's gonna live on them like for a very long time, I hope. Um, and then we did something else again with Microsoft and Reebok. Like it's literally just like this. Yeah, so it's every avenue, every, everybody just- you Once know. you start, once they, and this is why we was having this conversation earlier, once you like, snap back in your mind and you be like, bro, okay, I'm gonna I'm a take it serious for real. And you zone in and you kind of like do, you do the shit that you don't want to do to get the rewards that you want to do. And it works out for sure. How did you get the second collab then? Like, cause you got two. <laughs> the second collab came with uh, CNK Daily. Uh, they reached out and I almost, the funny thing is I almost missed it. So they had been, like, one of my emails was, like, on the wrong account. So she had been emailing me for a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. And I literally had three days from, like, the absolute deadline cutoff to create the shoe and create, like, all the stuff behind it. And I, it was, it sucks because I had vertigo for three days. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm laying on my side just, like, picking colors and putting stuff together. And I could, like... I only keep my eyes open for a couple of minutes because the room will start spinning and I've never had vertigo in my life but I had that weekend and Damn. this is what y'all got. Which I That's a lot of fellow too. Like Thank you. Said. We actually had people vote so it was like I did six almost six colorways and then we dimmed it down to three and then we had people vote on which one and these were actually a mistake so it was a different blue on them mm -hmm. and then we ended up having to change it at the last minute and then like this blue hit better than the other blue that i had so there's about three or four people that have the very very rare pair of the original blue oh, wow. and then you got some yeah oh, man okay see you love case we didn't talk about kicks we talked about two we talked a little bit about the ones so i like to ask people this question right here if you had to get buried with three kicks like let's say you got buried and they say you gotta take three shoes with you. What's these three shoes you gonna take with you? I'm gonna take some forces because I'm gonna always be safe and clean in okay. heaven. <laughs> sure. In the forces. I'm going I'm going straight dope girl style out in my own way. Alright, what's uh what's the second one? Uh the second one. Mm. I wanna say this because it's very honest. Melody Asani had some questions come out a long, long time ago, a couple years ago. The, the pink them. ones, I just, so I'm just i definitely getting buried in them. And then Vashity's purple twos, mm. because she was the first girl to have she a was, Jordan, and she went with the wood. The Dude, I've seen it. Out of all shoes you could design, why the Air Max 1? When they, um, in the contest, they give you like, different silhouettes to work with. I wanted it to be like, uh, I at first picked the Air Force One and I was like, this is too much goddamn brother. 
You know how like Air Force give you like it's like big face energy. I wasn't really feeling the big face energy and the, I really was into gum bottoms when I did this. Like I've been missing like gum bottoms. Like okay. I don't know what it is about it. It just give me like <laughs> it give me it give you it give you a classic feel without if you feel dressed up without being dressed up. Just I love it gets, it's like it's almost like walking on a hardwood floor yeah. over having carpet in your house. And so like it gave me the best like look and honestly this is like the sick shoe like i wanted to make this shoe as ugly as possible and it ended up coming out today because mm -hmm. they don't need this shoe to go together especially the purple on the inside you did a good job shout out to you i know a Be lot no of people words. would die to do everything you're doing Be no Thank you real for real. nobody Thank understands that what you mean like you the first person I ever heard say like I wanted to make the shoe ugly as possible. I love ugly shoes. I love ugly shoes. I love It's ugly a challenge. Shoes. Because if you wear an ugly shoe, like first of all, somebody gonna say something about the shoes. That's no, number one. But if you can make the fit look right with the ugly shoes, you give you that to make a, to make a shoe ugly, it give it makes people not have a choice in finding their own outfit. You don't oh, you see, we just hey, hey man. uniqueness. So we gonna get into what everybody come here to see every time we, we get on this camera. What is your top three in your collection? What did you bring with us to share? Like what, what did you bring in today? All right, so of course I'm wearing like, my shoes are always gonna be in my top two because- For sure, yeah. Why the hell not? So- Why the hell not? I showed y'all the second release. These are the first releases. Uh, they released November, 2019, November 1st, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Yes, they are the Air Max 1. They are not available anymore. If you have a pair, they are officially dead stock. On the back, they have NF, and then on the other one, it's um, Never Fold, and then SC for Stay Creative. So, I'm gonna put them in the right. So, this is actually, everybody knows, Nipsey Hussle died in 2019, and me personally, I was more of a Nipsey Hussle fan of like hearing him speak, because I had never heard somebody like speak like, peace like it's not a lot of people speaking about peace right now and he was just like in general cool and of course i love his music but like after a while it was like stay creative never fold like at that point in time i'm like i'm a teacher i still want to be creative shit is still happening but like at the same time i ended up being a creative teacher to where they was like hey do you want to teach art so it was stay creative never fold um, can i see that real quick i want to yeah. show people that you uh wear your shoes uh, I do wear my shoes. You, had, you, had, you, you got to. You got to wear your shoes. People. I wear my shoes. And I brought these. So we was talking about ugly shoes, right? So I, I like these shoes because one, they weren't hyped like at all. Um, I enjoyed like all of the color patterns and like the textures that they put on them. Like this was like an actual really fire release for them to even like test the wave of a two. And nobody actually liked them because they don't know how to what? How to wear them. Wear your shoes. <laughs> and they wasn't and they weren't the shoes to kinda of like put a fit with. They was like, What can you do? I like what Nike be like, I'ma give you something, what can you do with it? They like to test they not only test like they designers That's limits, hard. but they test right. they like they this shoe right here. they come it's tight. Yeah, it ended up being like a, a tight women's release. And see this my I'm looking at this, is that the same? Uh, yeah. you know? so I thought it was suede on there. On that. And, I, and the textures on each of the shoes are like random. Look at that. Yeah. Man, man. Wear your shoes. Yeah, Wear your shoes. Yeah, like, what would you call yourself like right now? A creative. A creative. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> you just doing it. Just creating. I'm just doing yeah. it. Yeah. You're just doing it. At this point, because if you label yourself, you'll start. You'll start getting put in a box like um, the sneaker designer. Is a is a is a box on its own because then people don't take your like actual physical painting serious. Serious. If you start to release T-shirts, they'd be like, "Oh, you a clothing line, not a clothing line." If you if I print mugs, they'll be like, "Oh my God, you're a print service." I'm not a print service. Like yeah. none of that. Like when like when I when I put stuff out, it's a project. I like. Joe Fresh Goods would be like the best. Joe Fresh Goods and Blue the Great. And like, I always, every interview I have, I probably mention Blue just because he was lucky the blueprint of people just doing what the fuck they want to do. Like, he never, like, and I'm telling you, like, that, he was like college football, like, a 
well on his way to being like what people needed him to be and he did what he wanted to do and it that was honorably respectable to see like where he's come from to where he's at now. Yeah, yeah. It's just got, yeah. No more than a dope job. I had to get to him. He so, used so what are you inspiring to do? Like right now and in like the near future. Right now, I really if I had like a magic genie wish I drew up a pair of twos that was, um, mm. it was, it was a classic colorway because a lot of the women that I talk to in the secret community want a red colorway that was made for women that like, cause like the satin ones came out, all the men was like, fuck that, I'm going to get them all the yeah. time. So in our minds, and, and we just talked about the uh, the terracotta four, the terracotta what fourteens that's yeah, coming 14, out, mm-hmm. and all the men saying they want, and them. all the men want them. I built that shoe so it's got like keywords on like pronouns that like women use, and then it's wow. kind of like if you gonna if you gonna wear a women's shoe, at least give us our respect. Oh, it was like a, like imagine oh, like you had on a, a two and on the front it had he she we us like yeah. that like you still gonna represent for women regardless. Just, just know that like there was a women drop and like yeah, men, and that's the sure. thing men don't have a problem like with saying hey I'm gonna get them hoes regardless because it's a it's a fire shoot yeah. because behind it they want to build on like the the Jordan women and like they getting given like deals to like the WNBA players and growing mm-hmm. but and his daughter's working with him like real heavy with that as and well. she and she killing she low she high key killing it on like bringing the Jordan women side up. But there's more to the Jordan women's side than like honoring our WNBA, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, women high key got some real fashion, random shit going on with these dope. sneakers because at this point in time, who weren't here? Right. So, we want to thank you for coming through, yeah, showing dude. us some love on the Soul Bros. Like I said, we like we said, you are first. Female. Woman guest. I hope y'all woman. enjoyed it. No, it was love fun. Love it. Very fun. Love good it. energy, I, I, good vibes, always natural, organic, no script, off the rip, off the brain. Yeah. All that. You been so freestyle. It sounded like <laughs> it. It sounded like it. I could. I could. But uh, like we said, uh, you know, thanks for coming through. We Thank appreciate you. For you. Uh, Keep on being great. You know, Keep let, on inspiring. Let, let people know where to follow you at. Let people know where they can, you know, contact you. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna give me some fancy shit. I can scroll kind of spot. Yeah, you follow right. me at Kaminsky Arts. I scrolled the wrong way. At Kaminsky Arts. Mm-hmm. Y'all see it right, yeah, there. It right there. And you know us, man. It's uh, your, your boy Fat Mouth with the PH. Don't forget the PH. Yeah, from your, your soul to your, from the soul to the toes. You know what I'm saying? You ain't finished, but your boy Jay Gray. You already know where to follow me at. Same thing on everything. And uh, make sure y'all follow the Soul Bros too. Hey. We here. I got on the Joy Clothing. Make sure y'all follow them too. And all that good shit. Make sure one more time y'all follow Kim. And what she got going on her movement. And like, subscribe, comment. Say, 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 say whatever you want to say on them things, man. All Let us know. Man. And we got this thing. Appreciate Peace. y'all.